And hey there, it's me, Mudlink, and welcome back to some more Fire Emblem Radiant Dawn. So last time, we took on Jeffrey Charge, and it took a few attempts. But I ended up making it through with getting back a lot, as many level ups as I could, and also just still getting, trying to get a good amount of bonus experience. And this time, this time we're going to be heading to probably, actually no, my favorite map of this game. And uh, I'd say... I wouldn't say in my top five favorite maps of all time, but it's definitely close. Alincia's Gambit. Having anticipated Queen Alincia's attack, the majority of Duke Ludvek's forces left Felleray. The troops stationed at Castle Felleray were merely the bait with which to lure Joffrey and his troops away from Melior. In Joffrey's absence, Ludvek's objective is nothing less than to take the royal palace and Queen Alincia with it. Lucia, foreseeing a possible attack on the capital, arranged for Queen Alincia and Princess Leanne to be secretly moved to Fort Alpia. Yet Lucia herself is unable to evade Duke Ludvek's agents. She is captured in the dead of night while attempting to contact an informant. Queen Alincia receives the sad news the next morning. So, whereas that flare sent up from Jeffrey's troops means Ludvig, Ludvig plans to come for your majesty. He's probably marching his troops, troops towards this fortress as we speak. Since it's come to this, I'd like to stick around and help. Let me know if you need me. I see. Thank you very, ever so much, Sir Har. I have one more question. What, what about Lucia? Have you heard from her? Is she safe? We found a man's body in the village safe house. We believe he was her messenger. We also found this. No, this, this is, this is Lucia's hair, but how? Well, we assume that Ludwig infiltrated her network of spies and captured her. This is his way of letting us know. It also means she's still alive, which means we can still save her. Queen Alencia, it's up to you to determine the best course of action. Yes, I know. Royal Guards, arm yourselves. And prepare to meet the rebel forces in battle. I will be commanding you personally. Your Majesty, but you are the Queen. It's much too dangerous. Please, assign a subordinate to this, to this duty. I will not. It is my indecision that has allowed the Rebellion to come this far. I refuse to run from this problem any longer. Lucia. Lucia, I'm sorry. Somehow, I promise you, I will save you. Princess Leanne, Sir Nialucci, this fortress will soon be under siege. Or what? Somehow the enemy has found out that I'm hiding here. My two fine friends, you must escape. I sing and help Queen Lincia. No, under no circumstances I won't allow any such thing. I I like help Queen Lincia. Now, now, while well, my lady makes up her mind, nothing Intellius can sway her. And me? I'm sure you wouldn't mind having these old bones in the battlefield. I'm old. Sir Nealucci, I honestly, I couldn't... <sighs> Wait until you see me, even at my age. I'm old! <laughs> Very well, uh, very well, I must prepare as well. I had hoped this day would never come. Amity, the treasured blade of House Cremia, will awaken from its long slumber. And there we go. And let's see, now how's the Amity? And it's locked there. There you go. And it's, yeah, pretty damn good. F -f -f 15 my brave sword, yep. Yeah. Trade this around, so uh, Mordecai, you take the concoction, you take the Spectre card, and the Antitoxin. Yeah, there you go. Because I need, I need, I'll need you to take things. Okay, now let's. Let's get another weapon 
enough in either. Uh, Hara's gonna see a lot of action here, so... I'm gonna give him... This many weapons. And then, well, don't care about the aggress anymore, don't care about those for now. Shop there, so don't disappoint. I don't know if I am, honestly. Maybe I should have gotten an arm scroll for life in this, for this map. Yeah, it's fine. It's completely fine. I can not to worry too much. Now let's. Yeah, I still can't switch around the uh, skills at all. Uh, who's in view the last one? Jeffrey, of course. Queen Lindsay, a visitor to see you, Your Majesty. At this hour, who could it be? Good evening, Queen, Queen Lindsay. Hello, what brings you here? Well, you see, Lily Lucy asked me to give you a hand if you ever found yourself between a rock and a hard place, your majesty. She instructed the workers here at Fort Alpay to notify me if they thought that you needed any kind of help. Lucia did. Lily Lucy has been taken, your majesty, but I think she'll be fine. Actually, I know she will. She had the brains to set up this in advance, so I know she has a good head on her shoulders. Yes, you're right. Thank you, Kello. Save the thanks for until after the Duke of Felleray is taken care of. We can hold the party at my place. Um, sure. And yep, yeah, we got Kilo on our team now. The soldiers are extremely focused given the hectic circumstances. They are very well trained. Lucia handpicked each, each one each one of them. Lucia and that, that official with the curly blonde beard. What was his name? You mean Count Bastion? Yeah, that's the one. Bastion, Count Affair. Fair, I don't know how to pronounce that. Usually considered the premier political mastermind of Crimea, but Lady Lucy is proving to be no slouch herself. Yes, I really don't deserve them. Come on, don't, 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 don't come on, don't sell yourself, don't sell yourself short. What do you mean? Loyalty isn't just a personal trait. Most of it hinges on who's calling the shots. What kind of commander you're under? The first commander was only concerned with lining his own pockets, and next was the Mad King himself. Man, I don't ever want to go back to military duty. If Shiharam hadn't asked me, I wouldn't have stayed so long. But he showed me what a leader could be, as someone who makes following seem like the most natural thing in the world. What about Inbegnion's leaders and Apostle Sanaki? Falconites report to the Apostle, the Draconites to the Senate. Of the two, the Falconites seem happier. I've never actually met the Apostle personally. She sounds like a nice girl, but who knows? I see. But I'm just running on at the mouth. I actually came to give you this. A physics staff? I want you to fight for all your supporters. Losing your le leader is tough, you know? Sir Hart, thank you so much. And there you go. Physics staff for Lynx. Yeah, that's why I didn't care to get any other staves, anyway. Ah, Kalil. I actually really like her in this game, although she does have the... She does have a bit have an issue with rejoining really late. But she's still not bad. She comes with really good... Really good weapon basis, so she can use every single siege tome, which is always great. Although bolting is very rare, she does come with a meteor, a meteor tome. In fact, bolting is so rare you have to steal it off of people, which is fucking impossible because I'm not gonna give any energy drops to Heather, and she's never gonna get strength. So uh, to put in perspective for Khalil, she shows back up in three nine for one chapter, and then in three eleven permanently. So just like Jeff, uh, jo uh, Jeffrey's crew. So that kind of does suck, but she's not too bad. Good magic, decent, <laughs> decent speed base, and an actual speed growth, unlike the other mages in the game. I'll tell you this right now: every other mage in this game is slow as shit. They have a low, uh, like sometimes around the same base stat as her right now, but without, 
but without the growth to speak of, and it's a little bit hard to act. it's it's a bit harder to um, for them to uh, loan experience for that speed. But anyway, yeah, she's pretty good. Just you know, you have to contend with her being not super available, which sucks. She has nail, and I, I'll mention this right now. Uh, when it comes to transfers for her, it only works for her because Largo is not in this game. Largo is the only character from the last game that doesn't appear in this game, which means there's no trans. You can't if you cap him out in Path of Radiance and he gets cap stats, they won't they won't matter when bringing it over to the next game. Largo is unplayable completely. There was that rumor that went around. It was like, oh, uh, Largo's uh, transfers go over to Khalil, but no, it's not true. Not in the slightest. So now I'm gonna. Go in the armor. Go in the armory right now to give weapons to Khalil. I'll give her an elf. And I'll give her just a normal fire team. There you go. So, mate, that's it for this battle preparations right here. Battle will begin soon. I want both of you to promise me that you'll fall back if in danger. Understood? Fall back, your majesty? No, I can hold the candle to the speed at which the raven tribe retreats. Uh -huh, that's a relief. Reporting, sir. Fort Alpea's gate is sealed, and they are readying their defenses. I see. Lady Lucia must have arranged some way to warn the queen. But alas, even if we were to have all the energy and luck in the world, the royal knights wouldn't arrive for two days. In any case, there's no way we can lose. Considering that we have a card which is yet to be put into the game. Your Majesty, dire news. The rear gate has opened, and the rebel army is storming in. What? How could this happen? I think you'll understand once you, once you question this man. You guard the inner ga garden, correct? You scum. You helped the rebel army, didn't you? Yes, yes I did. I did it because it was the best thing for the future of this country. Those Dane murderers killed my entire family. You know the queen bows down and wags her tail at them? It's a disgrace. Silence, you're the traitor here. Prepare to die. Wait, killing this man will do nothing to help our situation. We have to halt Ludwig and his men. They're already inside. I'm going out there too. Mordecai will fight for you, Queen Alincia. You can count on me, your majesty. Queen Alincia, Crimea needs you more than anything, and I reckon you can use my help. My homeland being ruled by his... By sn stop it's not be stiff like Ludwig? Please, I don't think so. Your Majesty, we could give we would give our lives for our queen. Allow us to fight. Thank you, everyone. I am indeed the queen of Crimea, and a queen does not hide. Our enemies are fellow citizens of Crimea, but we can no longer sit idle as they destroy the harmony of our nation. Could our situation be any better? Just look at these fragile defenses. As fragile as the queen's reign. Oh, the queen's taking command. I expect her to abandon her people, turn tail, and run for the hills. How pre preciously naive. We shall have to teach her that being overly optimistic can be fatal. So here we are. This is the Fen map, so there's no turn count for the bonus experience. It's only 1,500 for clearing the chapter. So why is this my favorite chapter? Well... There's a whole bunch of choke points around here, there's a whole fuck ton of enemies, and there's a lot of cool side objectives. Outside, like, even though there's no extra bonus experience requirements. So... Let me show you where each of them are. So you can get a Reaper card here. You can steal the Reaper card here with Heather. You... well, Nullify doesn't matter too much. There's a lot of crossbows here, so you have to be careful with um, your flies, but it's only really really only one flyer you gotta watch out with, because because Draco Knights don't get affected by uh, by bows anymore, by bows, so it's fine. Hang on a second. So yeah, there's quite a number of coins you can get here. The coins don't really matter too much, but hey, you can still steal them if you want. There's a lot of stealing that can go around for Heather. And here we go. This is the best part of this map. This. This armor knight, this this axe general right here with the Draco shield. This Draco shield is super important. So, do your best to steal it. And it's actually really, there's a lot of cool things you can do to steal it. 
then of course you have Ludwig here who is you know because authority stars you can kill him very early just so that you can you can get rid of those uh, authority stars there's an energy drop here which of course I'm gonna get to left Silver Greatlands here, which is fucking dog shit. Don't even, don't even bother using it. 50 fucking hit on a weapon. And yeah, so there's a lot of cool things to steal that can really help you out. It's mainly this Draco Knight here, and plus this map just has a lot of... It's just w really well designed here with a whole bunch of choke points here you can use. There's a whole lot of strategies you can do. Anyway, Sahara is in... Actually, yeah, the prime place. I think I'm going to bring down lower like this and then go up out like this here. Yeah. Yeah, I don't really need to worry too much about the Reaper card. Probably not gonna steal it since I have this I have the Spectre card. So it's all good. Yeah, nice again. Open this fucking work document up. Let to check something quick, quick. There's a certain things I want to do for this, for this game, and I need to remember which. Okay, it's oh, it's seven. Okay. Okay. See, Reaper card stronger than the Spectre card, but we have Iliana that can give, give the, the a Reaper card, so it's completely fine. I'm gonna go about it like this. Do you also love the song here? <laughs> Queen Alincia, I made it! Marcia, thanks to General Jeffrey, we, we spotted an ambush on the main road and snuck by on the old highway instead. Royal Knights will be here soon. I flew ahead to tell you to serve some. Serve up some traitor pie on my lands. Thank you. I'm impressed you made it back so quickly. My pleasure, Your Majesty. Now, which monkeys do you want to fillet before the Royal Knights get here? So, yeah. Marcia joins in on turn one. And yeah, let's get the speed win here, which obviously you know damn well who I'm giving that to. Wrong. Nah, just kidding. Obviously, you give a fucking speed win to Har. Still not quite enough to double these guys, but it's completely fine. So we gotta start preparing for that there. Sorry, I just love this song way too fucking much. There's this guy right here, and this guy right here we gotta get the weapons from. Now the Meteor Tomb here. I want to try to save up as much as I can. Actually, no, I don't worry about that, actually. I still still try to save it up a little bit. I'm not going to attack anything right now. Yeah. 
So you also have a bunch of these guys here. You don't get any extra experience with them attacking. So I wish I could steal your fucking... Your fucking... Uh, cool as hell, uh... Cool as hell bolting gun, you know? So that guy's gonna stay there for bolting, that guy's gonna stay there for healing. This map's long, but it's fun. So I guess I'll just talk about my overall thoughts of the part, this part of the world. I do like this part. The only issue is, of course, you know, just... Oh, I forgot to turn back on animations. There we go. wall there so they can break through. More oh, wait, what? Why is there no animations on... Why is there no animations on Braum? Whatever. The overall thoughts on part, I do really like this part. The only problem I have is just, you know, the units that don't show up later in the game. But I mean, there's still fun maps overall. Jeffrey's Charge is pretty fun with with the you know unique with a unique. Uh, Unique way of getting bonus experience by not killing everything. Try to keep as many as you can alive. And overall, I do like Lindsay as a character. Lindsay is always a good, is, was always a good character, and it does stay that way for this game at least. You know, so that's I'm happy about that. It's not like Astrid got completely fucking assa character assassinated. I still will never, I still will never, like, understand why they change Astrid in this game, but whatever. I still think I prefer part one, just, just for, like, the, the atmosphere, also because it's longer, because... It's weird that part two is only, is only, <laughs> it's only, there's only fucking, like, five chapters long. So, like, it's, it's, it's just odd to me, but... Whatever. Tiny bit of problem here, but it's fine. I can just move hard back to up here, so he just attacks like one of the like attacks Alincia. Got 
you out of mind. Now that I can kill this guy. That's my girl. And you're gonna need to take an all grass soon. You have to defend this point here, which you don't have to worry about too much. Put in the other cheese so you can try going for him. Thanks for doing more, though, buddy. Thank you, buddy. Now block the way like a smart party. God fucking damn it. Oh, uh, it's one of the generals, please. Thank you. So now that way is opening up. Another thing about these bow guns, don't even try to risk a flying unit against them because they have way too much fucking hit. Yeah, bow guns are pretty cool at least, I will say. Yeah. It makes archers at least somewhat more viable, but there's still, you know, problems because. Most of the archers in this game still suck. Most the keyword most of them. There's one that makes really good use of. I mean, warriors make really good use of uh, bow guns, but like there's one, there's one sniper that makes really good use of the bow gun and just is a good unit overall. I also forgot about uh, hidden items. Uh, it's a thing. It's, I think it's just mostly coins and an arm scroll, which I don't need the arm. I don't need any extra arm scrolls. I got the two I need for left. See, I'm giving them both the left ones. I get the chance to. Cause I mean, why not? Saying on where's the hidden treasure? There you go. So it's just uh, there's two spaces for all of the grass. So. Hmm. Fucked completely. And here you go. Har is always the best place. So that's, always, that's always the best place to put Har. For him to get all that experience. So yeah, Kalil still has not gotten anything. In terms of experience, but it's fine. I haven't really done anything. Else. I could use a meteor, but I kind of don't need to right now. Alright. Good job, buddy. <laughs> Brum's fucking smiling face always just makes it for me. It's just, yeah, I'm happy. I'm a happy little camp. Now you're untransformed again. Yeah, this guy right here. Ow. Okay, well she 
actually gonna get healed up in anyway. Oh, this guy has a coin for me. Nice. So these guys can't come up there, but they have long rows, sort of. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm up a ledge, so it's fine. Thanks for the, the free coin. Where's the other one? And down here. Oh, am I getting those two for, for left? Okay, ally time, baby. Thank you for dealing up Nephany, and hopefully the bolting guy moves. Nope. Okay, well. Ah, you fucker! Dude, dude, okay, for a second I was like, bro, did you, you just fucking kill Neo Luchi? You yeah, know. <laughs> it's fine. Yeah, it wasn't too stupid this time. My boy. At least this is where Mordecai can be at his most useful, because after this, he kind of doesn't have too much use of <laughs> Oh, man. You see that? As if I'm not fucking using... As if I'm not fucking using... Oh, I'm an idiot. I didn't even check his range. Hang on a second. Alright, I'm back. Damn it, Harp. See, one of the half leaders died there. I still stole the coin. I did have to rescue Leanne, though. Well, whatever. It's all good. I also got an olive, olive grass of Marcia there in, uh, in this area here. It's fine. Oh, my legs. I can use Braum to uh, to take to take Leanne or use someone else actually anyone else. I can use Nephilim. Yeah. 
I believe in the AI. The AI is gonna help me out here. They're gonna kill that general right there. And if not, then they can go fuck themselves. General, thank you. Oh, please be able to double. Please be able to double. Please be able to. Actually, no, it blocks the way anyway, so it's fine. Brom time. I love you, Brom. That I'm actually using them. Yeah, now it's fine. Good. I'm only gonna do one more round of combat anyway. defense, yep. Normal level ups. You are. These guys are really high trick shots. That's fine. Straight on to left. Although it is very cramped in there, so left might be in danger if I do that. Uh, look at it, look at it, it's all fucking cramped up in there, it's fine. Oh, javelin, javelin broke. These guys still suck. Yeah, 
give give left some more gauge there. And you up here. Just to just take some some stragglers on. It's funny, in the first two turns, these my these units are actually doing a decent job. Like first two the first turn, first two units that attack got a crit. And they one shot the enemy that was that they were attacking, but now here everyone's just fucking missing. Whatever they can die though, it's fine. There's they're like they have decent stats. But I got Mordecai and I got bro. We both tank these points, and I wish, I really wish I gave a hand axe to Braum. But you know, it's too late for that. It's too late for that, it's fine. He's gonna die. He's gonna freeze up his spot for someone to attack Nephany, which I hope someone does. Actually, not even, you don't even double. Dang. Oh, and that guy cleared up the spot. Oh, that's the hammer guy. Well, shit, that spot just opened up and someone can attack Neoluchi, and that guy decided not to. Okay. Fine by me, I guess. Oh, that's a steel poleaxe guy. Okay. Guy has the energy drop, so I don't want none of the other guys to kill him. There you go. He even did some decent damage to him. Oh yikes! Oh yikes! 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 yikes. It's all good. Oh, is that that mage gonna attack me now? Or no, it's just gonna be the bow gun. I guess because guess it's more active, that's why. There's more people in the heart can kill. Hey, attack left. Thank you. Double dodge, there you go. Half of her gauge is back. That would have killed me if it hit. But, you know, up a ledge, probably like 5% chance of hitting me or 10% chance of hitting me, something like that. with that speed wing. Mm. What point off from capping skill? Well, 
enemies down there, so you gotta be careful. So, you know, so if not, one, two, three, four, six, seven. Okay, so it's fine. You don't even fucking double. You can't even double. So shit. Couldn't go for gone. Is that what I've been fucking awful? Also, shit. Yeah, I'm really low gauge right now, and I gotta kill you up. Just gonna go for this. Yeehaw! Thirteen strength now. She should have meteor somewhere in there. Yeah, I'm not gonna meteor somewhere in there. Fuck off, really? Okay, well, it's fine. It's all fine. All fine and then. All units are now just being complete dog shit. Once. Once. For missing too. It's already 50 minutes, but this map's always long as hell.
Can you fuck out? So if I steal that from you one day. Okay, it's gonna be forever trapped here. But it's fine, I got my trick. I got my energy drop from the side. So I felt good. See what happens here. Okay, I physic that guy, that's fine. Yes, attack him so you can fucking move, thank you. And yeah, you attack the healer, that's actually good. And, um, more guys are blocking the way. But I know I should be fine to move Mordecai out of there. He gets attacked with just a bit more here and he can transform again. Long. Oh wait, Mordecai's dead as shit, isn't he? Fuck. Cock. Fuck. And of course you're just gonna make it as slow as possible for him to die. This fucking map. Just cause ah, oh, fucking Mordecai, man. Or I can just keep him dead. Cause let him. Mordecai dead. Eyes is fine for a while. But it's still around. So fuck it. Sorry for that. Got fucking interrupted there. No one misses more uh, that. More of hard fighting things and now you get to see Mordecai die, which... That's fine. Mordecai is sore. Mordecai can fight no more. Must return to Galia. Forgive, please. So, but Mordecai's dead now. Smell me. Entirely my fault. Entirely my fault there. Oh, 
Uh, Thunder Mage dead. Drink skill defense. So that's a cap skill right now. Sucks, but it's fine. Uh, is there any extra? Radiant Dawn. Base conversations. Nothing from Mordecai. He's dead now. Oh, you could fucking double that guy. You know, I'm gonna need your human right now. Oh, yeah, I'm just gonna. Oh, no, let's get to this key. So many fucking units in the way. I'm going to start preparing for the Draco Shield Heist soon. I'm all This guy at least. This episode really long. We're not even halfway into it, so um, I'm gonna turn eight rolls around. I'm gonna end off this episode here. I'm gonna end off the episode because yeah, this, as you can tell, this map's long and it's gonna be still long as hell even after that. Showing 
eased his fucking team. He's choking this point. Hey, disarm. Nice. I can steal that javelin if I feel like it. Which I won't. No, Heather is no way. There's no way Heather can get into the game for that. Idiot, move out of the way from that guy. Next turn, please. There you go, you still shit. One dead man, it's fine. Oh, wait. Oh, is there gonna be a level up there? From the point? Nope. I don't think so. Heal that off with the uh, end. Yeah, no, that was gonna fucking hit me. Your Majesty will counter. Will kind of charge their flank. The Royal Knights will succeed again. Indomitable, indomitable Knights of Crimea. This is the hour you have trained for. Hold the line and run them down. Jeffrey, Jeffrey, oh Jeffrey. Find Ludwig, Duke of Felleray. Seize him immediately, he must not escape. What a bother. They arrived faster than I didn't expect it, but I will prevail. I won't lose to that worthless queen. There you go, Joffrey's crew shows up on turn 8. Along with two other green units. My Astrid is not any weapons, so who cares? I didn't even realize fucking 52% chance of getting there. Oh anyway, yeah, now I'm gonna be ending this off. Cause this map's already long as hell, we're about only a halfway through it, so I'll be seeing you guys. Right. Next time, bye bye.